Hi okay guys, this is DZR Share here and I'll be doing a deck profile today on my Masked Hero OCG, I guess you could say, for the current cards that have been released. Now I've made a deck profile on the well current cards that come out. Current cards uh with Dark Law. This guy. Master of Dusk Mask Masked Hero Dark Law. This guy's pretty good. Uh must be special summoned by Mask Change and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Any card sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished instead. Once per turn, when your opponent adds a card, or well, posture, yes, uh, from their main deck to the hand, except during their draw phase, you can banish one random card from your opponent's hand. Basically, with this card, you want to last change uh, Shadow Mist into him. Well, that's the only option. And also, there are plenty of ways to get them out, but I'll explain it uh, in the video. But anyway, let's get to the deck profile, shall we? I run three new aliases, one honest. I ch now, as you noticed in this deck profile, I've taken out the elemental hero oceans because ocean is not really required anymore because this is going to be a pure master hero build, and uh, you don't really need ocean because you have plenty of searches, uh, searching ways to get your monster to your hand. And also, Honest is great for uh, the Light Master Hero once it's been released. Well, the effect's been released. Once I mean, once the effect's released, we will be able to. Uh, well, I'll be able to put it in the deck. But it's basically uh, type one of my OCG Master Heroes. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, one Honest, free Shadow Mist. You want to max it out as as much as possible because you can only use this effect once per turn and only during a turn. And so yeah, you can basically max it out. And also, if this card is special summoned, you can add one change quick play spell card from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to your graveyard it, by any way is possible, you can add one hero card from your or hero monster from your deck to your hand, except uh, Shadow Mist. And you can only use the effect of it once per turn, no your right turn. <clears throat> As you can see, I've put in a hero lives in here because to get out uh, Shadow Mist quicker. Or alias, depending on what you, uh, what depending on when the light master comes out, depending if its effect is good or not, uh, for the effect. But yeah, uh, you, mostly you would summon uh, Shadow Mist with a hero lives, uh, even though it costs you half your life points. It doesn't matter. You get its effect to add mass change to your hand quickly, or form change. Uh, no, not form change. Uh, mass change second, and yeah, you can you play <coughs> mass change on. Shadow Mist to get into a Dark Lord on that first turn. So yeah, it's pretty good. And as for the finals, I run... The final monsters, I run three above mans. Uh, three emergency calls for the heroes, searches, and the hero lives, as I explained. Easy card to get out, Shadow Mist. Uh, one reinforcement army, one mind control, three miracle fusion. All hero decks need miracle fusion. Uh, one Dark Hole, two soul charge. Now, another inst... Uh... You can also do a different method by uh, getting Shadow Mist's effect by special summoning. As you can see, Soul Charge. Uh, you can play Emergency Call or Rota to grab Shadow Mist to your hand. Uh, when it's sent to Graveyard, it, it, any way is possible, even by Foolish Barrel. You can do that on the first turn if you want, <clears throat> if you're running Foolish Barrel in this build. Send, when Shadow Mist is Graveyard, you activate Soul Charge, you special summon Shadow Mist, and Shadow Mist effect will activate and get you a Mass Change. After that, you can basically mass change into uh, Dark Law, and pretty much that's how it goes. But yeah, uh, Soul Charge. Soul Charge is one of uh, one of those cards used for uh, getting mass change in hand quicker, or you want X Y Z and pretty much blow up the field with X the Knight or any ways possible of getting advantage. Uh, three MSTs, two mass change. I decided to cut it down to one, uh, to two instead of three, because uh, well. I'm running four, uh, four mass change type of cards in here, so uh, I like to balance it out. Uh, two spin lands for backup options. One super poly, in case you want to poly something, super poly something. <coughs> two mass change second. Now this card is very, very, very good card. Basically, it's a cost to discard one card, but other than that, its full effect is when then you target, well, you target one face up mass hero. Uh, sorry. You target one face up monster you control. That could be any card, uh, any face up monster. 
that you control basically can be, uh, well, it has to be a lower level than the mastery you're bringing out. But other than that, mastery in seconds really good card. It can, be, it can use it on any of your masteries. Oh uh, no, sorry, not masteries. I keep using saying that. Uh, you can use any. You, you can use it on any monster that you want. Doesn't have to be a hero to use mastery in second on. So, for example, you can use it on a. Uh, uh, let's put an example. Uh, Abyss Gundy or something like that. I don't know. That's for the water, water target, or Giga uh, Accelerator or anything like that. And you can use this card to bring out the master, so it's of that attribute, which is pretty good. Basically, then target one face up monster you control, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one master from your extra deck with the same attribute as the monster, but with a high level. This special summon is treated as master change. Uh, you can only activate one master change a second per turn. So you can only use one turn, otherwise this card would be amazingly broken. But yeah, the Master Change second, I like this card, it's better than Master Change in a way, but requires you to have a cost. But anyway, this is actually a very, very good card. Normally, when I have Master Change second hand, I would discard a card that I don't really need. So if I have Break for Skill in my hand, I would use this card to discard it. It basically sets up a Break for Skill for next turn, during your turn. And also, you have a new monster on the field. Put traps, one bombless, two mirror force. Uh, you can choose to run D prison because D prison is dimensional prison is becoming more popular now, with uh, mirror force being taken out. Uh, torrential tribute, two bravery skills. I like bravery skill. Bravery skills. I've been using it for a long time now, and also uh, bravery skills becoming more popular for this format with. Prime Origins because it's gone a bit faster and it's better than Valor because it's quicker. <clears throat> also, and also gives you a second, basically has two types of effects. You can use it on the field or in your graveyard during your turn. Uh, one Capulse and one for Morning. For the extra deck, uh, two Shinings. I might take one out depending on what the Light Master will be, but you only need, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not too sure how many you need. I haven't, this is still in, uh, uh, I'm still editing the deck in a way. It's not complete yet, confirmed yet, so I'm still working it out. And once the Light Mass Hero's effect has been revealed, I might uh, decide to take out Shining. Oh no, wait, I want to keep Shining in. I might either cut it down to one or. Uh, I don't know, it depends. Two Acids, uh, one Esquado for the Dark Fusions. And you can use it with Miracle Fusion as well. Uh, two, uh, two Absolute Zeros. Uh, one Master of Vapor to get your Master Change out. Also, you can use it with Bulb Man with Master Change Second as well. Two Dark Lord. I like to abuse this card with Shadow Mist. <laughs> it's really, really good. It basically you have a in basically a monster version of Macrocosmos, which opponent cannot use Valor or any discard hand traps. So yeah, any card they use will pretty much uh, go banished after they've activated it. Or if they're monsters, you use this card to destroy it and it gets banished instead. So it's really good. Uh, Blade of a Ninja, Silent on Arc, Excalibur, Ex Duella, Abyss Duella, and X the Knight. So yeah, those are the XYZs I've been running uh, for the heroes. That's what I've currently been running in my TCG version. So yeah. Now, for the side deck, uh, this is an actually this isn't actually a side deck. This is the options I've been thinking about using in this deck. Uh, but yeah, or taking out, depending. I'm still contemplating if I want to keep it in or not. Or I'm still uh, basically uh, in case I want to take something out and replace it. Uh, I took out Thunder King for honest because <coughs> this uh, I've tested out before, and uh, Thunder King is not that good with with Shadow Mist or any searching cards. This deck. Basically, you have enough searches already. You don't need dualities and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty good, even without a. Uh, uh, it works well without Thunder Kings. Mostly good for a side deck card from now on. Uh, Valors, I decided not to use Valors because, well, I don't know. I don't like Valor as much. In this deck, I mean. But I, I used to like it in my old Master build a long time ago, before Stratos <coughs> was banned. Before it was banned. Yeah, I used to use Valor for uh, quick Miracle Fusion summoning. Uh, Dian <coughs> is another option, because if you Super Poly into Gaia, which I kind of took out, 
Uh, but also, it's good in another way if you're running form change. Uh, when you have form change on the, f if you have form change, you can uh, form change the uh, acid and bring out the iron as well. Or use uh, if you want to keep, if you want to put in your site uh, extra extra deck, you can take out. Uh, I mean, no, not take out. When you uh, take control of the monster, you can use mass change second on their monster and bring out the iron if it's earth monster. So yeah, there's many ways to summon out the monsters with. Uh, Marching second, which is pretty good. I think this card's going to be splashful in every deck because you can use it to base. There's an attribute for every master now, not just for Omni heroes. So yeah, it's really good. This card is a splashable card. Master second. Uh, Squado. Uh, I was testing out one. Uh, put another one in. I have no idea why. I should actually take it out. <laughs> uh, Gaia, I decided to take it out because, well, I thought I did need it, but when I was versing a Giga player when I was testing it out, I kind of needed it in a way, but at the same time, not really, because I, I don't know, didn't really need it. Uh, Goka, not really. Uh, as you can, it's basically another way to use form change with a uh, vapor or dark Lore. Let's use form change on one of these level six master monsters, and you can summon out Goka. But Goka's terrible, to be honest. Goka's never been a good card for master heroes. It's a beat stick, but that's all it is. It's, it gains attack for each hero in your graveyard. But we prefer more other types of effects rather than beat sticks, unless you're making um. Well, I've been thinking of making a level six beat deck, a level six master beat deck. Basically, you use vapor go. Goka and Dark Lore. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why. Well, one of the few decks I, one of the few decks I've been thinking about making, once the new master has been come out, once the new master has come out for Dark Lore, because you have more targets other than Goka and Vapor. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I took out Book of Moon because I don't know why. I don't really know why, to be honest. Uh, I just took it out. Still, I'm still testing it. Uh. I took it out for a Hero Lives. But yeah, Hero Lives, it, it's okay, a Hero Lives. Uh, Mars Change, Mars Change, well, the third Mars Change, I decided to take it out. Because, I, well, as I said before, two Mars Change and two Mars Change second. Uh, you don't really need a third Mars Change because it kind of clogs up the, I don't know, your drawing, I suppose. Uh, anyway, uh, Form Change, this card's terrible, to be honest. It's not the best card. Unless you're running a... Uh, Level six beat deck, it's not that good. Uh, level six master beat deck. Oh yeah. Now, uh, hmm. A hero lives. A hero lives is, in my opinion, for this deck, it's mostly best to keep it at one rather than two to three because you want to keep your life points. You don't want to. You don't want to run out of life points because, well. I reckon one's decent, actually. I don't mind it at, well, actually no. I like it at one, I don't like it at two or three. But if you keep, I like one in this build, pretty much. Because I want to draw my other cards rather than a uh, hero lives, because I don't want to lose life points. And I have to have a face up monster on the, f I don't have, to, I mean I don't have to have any, I have to have no face up monsters on the field to use a hero lives. Also, there's a trick with this. You play if you have a hero lives in your hand, and you have a monster on the field face up. You can play Book of Moon on your monster, and you can play a hero lives to summon out a hero from your deck. That's something you and uh, that's something new you haven't even heard of. Well, if you don't know about it, basically, if your monster face down, a hero lives becomes live, and also if you haven't switched positions of the monster. If the position of the monster hasn't been touched by Book of Moon, or it hasn't been, its position has been changed, bow position, you can uh, flip it face up, and you can go for an XYZ during that turn. So yeah, Hero Lives is another way to be used for that type of scenario. So you can go for a quick rank 4 with a Hero Lives. It's another way you can use it, but your monster has to be face down first. And chance of ha having that uh, chance of that happening, um, it's fairly high, I suppose, if you're trying to play defensive. But other than that, uh, Hero Lives is good at one, in my opinion. 
<clears throat> now, uh, let's see. I've talked about the Masters. Dion, Acid, Vapor, Dark War, Goka, Mars Change, Mars Form Change, Mars Change Second. Can't wait till they've released the new effect for Mars Hero Kuga? Koga? Uh, Kuga Koga? And the new boss hero monster. Uh, Chaos. Chaos Hero Chaos? Or is it something else? I can't remember the name. But yeah, the, the new boss hero, I should say. I don't know what it might be. But in my opinion, uh, what I'm guessing is the Light Master Hero's effect is, uh, as I said before, I think it's going to be something to do with battle. Uh, that's my guess. I n sort of guessed correctly about Dark Lore because I know, know about uh, Dark Monsters and their trick, well, their thing, I suppose, where all Dark Monsters usually have an effect that resides either in the graveyard or the banished area. Their effect usually resides in there uh, from the trigger or activate or something to do with basically connecting to the graveyard. So in my opinion, the light ones I think will have to do by battle. That's my guess. Uh, like Honest or something like that. Who knows, we might get an Honest Mast here. <laughs> that would be something. I would like to see that. But yeah, if it has the same effect as uh, What's the name? Amadis? Uh, Keeping Boundaries? I wouldn't mind that because that would make Mast Heroes more viable to use for Light Mast Heroes because Light Mast Heroes I can't wait till the Ma Light Mast Hero comes out, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, Chaos Hero Chaos, I think it's going to be similar to Light and Darkness Dragon. I think it's going to have the effect, or oh, same effect of it. Well, not same effect effect, as in the same effect that it will be treated as a Light or Dark Monster. That's my guess. But yeah, uh, new Masters. Hmm. Also, there's a new one that's a level 8 card I've, I haven't said, or should I say it? I think I've said it. I've also posted pictures up on my Facebook page as well and also a new another video that I posted last about Master Hero Kamikaze. That's new Wind Master. I don't know what the Wind uh, Light Master Wind Master would be, but I think it's if, well I'm just gonna guess all these effects. Yeah. Who knows? It's well it's fun to guess I suppose. Uh, I think the Wind Master is it's gonna be something to do with the field. Something to do with uh, changing cards on the field. Well, not changing cards. Something to do with uh, like something like similar to Lightning Jidori in a way. It's gonna affect cards on the field. Uh, something's gonna, I don't know, return a card to hand, or in this case, return all cards to hand, like as like acid. Oh no, wait. Similar, mm, not similar, but sort of like acid effect where destroying all back row. But in this case, Kamikaze is like it. I don't know, it has a, a f I'm guessing maybe it has an effect where it does something to itself or to their monster, to the opponent's monster, something like that, or to your own monster, I have no idea. And return them to the hand or deck or something like that. I don't know, I'm just guessing. But yeah, it's going to be something to do with summons or something to do with monsters on the field. Something to do with cards on the field. That's my guess for the Wind Master. But that's just a guess. It's, uh, we don't know anything about it yet. Until they release the new uh, uh, the new information about the new cards that'll be they'll be coming out the hero structure deck. But yeah, I think heroes are going to do really well. The new support is pretty much universal in a way when it comes to Mass Change Second. This card, uh, Mass Change Second, very good card. It's it can be used in it's a generic card. It can be, it can be used in any deck. It doesn't have to be heroes, and you can basically all decks will become like hero based decks. That's pretty much what Mars Chain Second is. Mars Chain Second is. It's basically a hero card for all decks. And yeah. Uh, so yeah. Rate, comment, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.